Hello, welcome to the web technology、uh, from the Python point of view. Okay, before we go deeper about、uh, how web, World Wide Web,、uh, or HTTP protocol works, okay, let's、uh, have a look at the, my desktop、uh, application. Now I have a browser, right? Obviously, it's a browser. And uh, uh, this is my new course page, uh, and uh, here is a Python programming language where I put the Python recording,、uh, video recording on the on the YouTube, and also、uh, I use a Google site to collect collect this page,、uh, collect the. Videos, okay, so that my student can easily navigate the course content. Okay, this is the introduction chapter,、uh, computer basics,、uh, binary text,、uh, I/O and file, and some programming,、uh, if then else, and more. Okay, so.、Uh, so what we are going to do now is to.、Uh, Uh, introduce how World Wide Web works. Okay, and last time,、hmm, many, 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 maybe days ago, uh, uh, we probably have talked about a simple HTML page and、uh, how to construct the web page, the syntax. Okay, so here is my old home page, which is recite,、uh, recited. On the、uh, department hosted web server called or, uh, Ordo, Erdos. Okay, Erdos. dot csre. dot ncnu. dot edu. dot tw. So uh, uh, the reason I choose this is that、uh, because uh, this this server still support the HTTP、uh, protocol.、Uh, so if you type Delta.、Uh, Uh, my English name H Y C H E N.、Uh, you come to my old page, which has、uh, some text and、uh, some link.、Uh, here I say I move to the new site, and you click on here, you will be、uh, kind of jumped from the old to the another new site. Okay, this this site is hosted by the Google using the Google tool, so that I can. Uh, use a much more kind of、uh, editing tool, a powerful tool to organize the web content. I don't need to、uh, worry too much about the HTML tags. Okay, so this is my new page.、Uh, that was my old home page, but we're here to learn how World Wide Web works, right? And we'll be talking more about HTTP protocol. So,、uh, some basic understanding、uh, is here. You can view the page source.、Uh, we can see、uh, from the web browser. You can see the the content, right? We know the structure of the web page is pretty. It's a text format. They use a, a tag. We call a tag to kind of Uh, wrap the content and a different different tag have a different meaning, right? The head,、uh, the body.、Uh, normally, the content is put into the body part, and the、uh, H1 means the、uh, uh, big biggest the biggest header header, right? Biggest head. Use a、uh, uh, large phone size uh, to uh, kind of. Uh, to format your your content, okay. And we be talk about the A tag, which is anchor, right? This is a uh, important uh, feature to allow us to kind of click this string, and we can jump to the new page, okay. If you are not familiar with this,、uh, go back to watch my previous content. And we also have the we call the image tag IMG, right? You can specify uh, uh, 
a image resource, which could be the remote, uh, other people's uh, image uh, resides on the router side or, or at the, your local, local web server. So here we have the concept web server. Who, who is hosting this content? We call it a web server, right? And in this case, the web server will be the er Erdos, okay? So, uh, so now I would like to use uh, uh, several tools. Uh, the, my favorite one is to use uh, uh, Telnet, okay? So now I'm in uh, uh, my Mac, but my server is uh, another side. Uh, we, we have, we have uh, with department, we have our web server, so let me try to use uh, some uh, kind of uh, drawing uh, to to explain uh, those architecture. Okay. So uh, so here we go. The server. How can we connect to the server? Okay. I would like to. Uh, there are several ways. Uh, you can telnet uh, web server uh, normally the server uh, remote login we will use a telnet but what is telnet uh, let's have a look at the definition of telnet from the wikipedia so telnet is a common network protocol used on the internet uh, also inside the LAN uh, Remember, this is a simple wiki, uh, which is uh, if you don't want to way too much complicated information to kind of bombard your head, you can use a simple version, okay? Which is which was developed pretty early uh, back in 1969, okay? Uh, defined in IFC 15. Okay, now defined IETF, etc. So one of the first uh, internet standard. So you can. So what do people do in the web server? We can kind of remote login to that that server, and the uh, telnet is a tool to simulate a terminal. So you kind of can work on uh, some text mode uh, manipulation. Uh, issue a job or do some uh, Unix systems uh, commands on that server. Okay. So, uh, but now uh, uh, because of the security issue, uh, most uh, people will use a uh, telnet. Uh, no longer use the telnet. Uh, has been replaced with a uh, secure share uh, SSH, which require. Uh, some kind of encrypt, encrypted uh, password protection to prevent uh, some other people to kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, steal the information you transfer, you type uh, back and forth on the on the on the network. Okay. So, uh, so. Uh, So, uh, but basically, uh, Telnet is pretty useful. It allows to computer anywhere on a computer network, include the worldwide, worldwide internet to exchange the text uh, and the other data in real time, okay? And the secure share uh, is an improved version of the uh, telnet now widely implement in uh, all kinds of the uh, Linux, Unix, Macintosh, okay, but uh, it's pretty much the same. Uh, uh, you can consider they are uh, similar but uh, safer, okay, like they, because they provide a secure uh, transmission, uh, which means that. Uh, even people kind of uh, listen to the data, listen what you are going to send uh, back and forth between the channel, they still cannot understand because all the data has been, uh, all the message has been encrypted, uh, 
which means uh, use uh, some kind of technology to encode the message uh, before sending out. So without a key, without a key to decode, to decrypt it, uh, uh, even though you got the data, but you cannot understand what are the what what the data, uh, what the data is. Okay. So, uh, so this is the basic understanding of the telnet. Okay. So what we are going to do now is to uh, try to explain to you uh, um, HTTP. Uh, we know the HTTP protocol. Right, it's uh, mainly the World Wide Web most important protocol. Uh, they have uh, 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 people use that uh, back in uh, nineteen ninety six, okay, or, or even earlier, right? But they was kind of uh, evolved uh, rapidly because uh, a lot of the things now transmitted through the World Wide Web. So when I was a student, I remember that time we used the HTTP 1.0. Uh, later on, we have an improved version. Now uh, people talk about the uh, HTTP protocol version 3. Uh, uh, we won't be talking about the detail of it, but we will be using the HTTP uh, uh, 1.0, uh, 1.0. Because that was the simplest one, okay, simplest one, okay. So how can we go into do uh, to use the telnet to explore this? Uh, we need to uh, understand web is kind of uh, okay. Let me let me choose a uh, a pen. Okay, I need a pen. Okay, here, here you go. We have a World Wide Web. This is our internet. Uh, let's just let's assume my computer is here. I try to use a, a, a software to kind of create the HTTP connection, connect to the a server. Okay, this is a server. Uh, normally, uh, they may have a UPS system, uh, power stabilizations, or maybe running on the Unix systems. Okay, did I say Unix before? Okay, but the server uh, also connected to the internet, maybe with the wild connection. So one feature of the server is that they always all the time they listen to the uh, incoming connection. Okay, uh, so what kind of server it is? Uh, I'm talking about the HTTP. So HTTP server, uh, if it's a not secure, non-secure mode, uh, uh, as opposed to the secure mode, uh, HTTP use a non-secure mode. It listen to the port, port eighty. Okay. So now I would like to kind of tell net, uh, kind of. Directly enter, connect to the uh, port number eighty, and to use the HTTP command uh, through the telnet uh, to directly talk to it to see if this server HTTP server uh, will re respond properly. Okay. Okay. So this is what I'm playing for. Okay. So let's do the job. Shall we? So now I'm going to use a telnet. Uh, uh, I need to type my. Uh, okay, let me move the um, telnet. Eighty because eighty is what the web uh, HTTP protocol listen uh, listen for. Okay, and now I need to type the the 
high-level HTTP command. Uh, for example, let's assume you know something. Uh, HTTP 1.0. Okay, you can find uh, the server actually. Uh, this is what I typed. Okay, and this is what the server responds. Okay, and this is the. Uh, actually, those are the, the are the things that the server responds to me, but the content is a little bit tricky, right? Because it looks like a kind of weird kind of control information, right? For example, HTTP 1.1 uh, to 100, okay. Date and the server type and the last modified and e tag. What is e tag? The set range, content length, uh, connection close, content type. And this is actually. Uh, the information that show to my browser. Okay, so what does this mean? Okay, if I using the same, yeah, if I type the those, uh, you you will find that the the server uh, actually transmit back the information it works. Okay, this information and using H1 as a tag to kind of format it. This is our administrator, our almighty administrator. Uh, maybe we're a professor to kind of pre organize the default information. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so now we have a very basic uh, idea. We can directly use a, a telnet to talk to the server. Okay. Now let's uh, try some other. I would like to get uh, HYC in zero. Uh, I type another error. enter. I will get something. Okay, because this is my entry point. Okay, I get my page. I'm the user and on that server, and the server return kind of. Uh, search my home directory. Uh, they may find okay, this home directory is actually located here. Okay, and uh, uh, so uh, I better uh, I better uh, locate it that here. So let me try it another get. Maybe. Yeah. So if I use uh, um, a slash at the end of this, I, you can see I, I connect to the something successfully and I got the, the page. Okay. So this is what I exactly got, right? So if we, if we compare, uh, the page here, right here, header, head, body, h1, okay, and a anchor, p, uh, so the new line, the uh, image. So this image is also on the server, okay. So maybe I can retrieve this image, okay. I can retrieve this image, so I can get uh, maybe. Python logo PNG hmm. not found. Hmm. Not log logo. There's a typo. There's a typo. Python logo PNG. Okay, here you go. Wow, I got a kind of chaos uh, feedback. Yeah, Are there anything wrong with my typing? 
Hmm. Interesting. Actually, I got it correct. I did connect and retrieve these resources successfully. And the reason I could not uh, display properly is because, uh, as we know, we talk about a multimedia image file. You know, image file is is things that some things like a pixel, a series of pixel, the inside of pixel, there's a color information, RGB, etc. Right? And those information uh, mainly store in a binary format. Okay? So we got the idea. The reason we got the, this situation is uh, we kind of display the binary information using the text mode. So it is illegal. You know? it, is, it is insane, right? Uh, we should have used a kind of image viewer like a Photoshop or the tool which allow us to open and, and to look at the image to kind of open it. But you get the idea, anything in a computer is uh, binary, even text. Uh, we rely on different type of co coding, code book, uh, which could be the ASCII code, UTF-8 code, all kinds of different code to kind of maintain the agreement, okay, a coding agreement for for seeing the information properly, okay. So I just want to demonstrate uh, the computer actually do pretty simple things uh, in HTTP server service. You ask the resource, you use the command get all capital letter. Uh, and the location, uh, and use the protocol number, actually, which means that you are using this uh, uh, this version of the protocol to get a resource. So as a web server, uh, it should have known this kind of protocol. They will return some header information about this resource, and the following uh, is the content, okay. So if you ask for uh, video or MP3, uh, you actually can transmit through the HTTP protocol, okay. Uh, so uh, I think that that's a that's a explanation for the HTTP, okay, in the more technical ways, okay. Bye bye. See you next time.